sure we all remember at the very, very end of last season. But randomly, these giant earthquakes started happening across the Fortnite island and led up to the mini live event. We literally saw a giant titan hand emerge out of the ground. Angling from that hand was none other than Pandora's box. It later ended up opening and unleashed all the powerful gods onto the Fortnite island. Then ever since Chapter 5 Season 2 came out, the same hand is still here. However, until today, it was just laying dormant on the Fortnite island. Now it's finally coming back to life. But first, if you don't hit the thumbs up button on this video, in exactly 111 days, whenever you log on to Fortnite, this will happen. No! But if you do with the thumbs up button, in exactly 111 days when you log on to Fortnite, this will be waiting for you. The choice is all yours, so choose carefully. Ladies and gentlemen, we've wasted too much time. We got a bunch of awesome stuff to cover in this video, including the return of the Titan's hand itself. Let's get into it. Uh, super quickly, before we get to the return of the giant hand, first things first, ladies and gentlemen, recently, I have been on an all-time run showcasing some of the absolute greatest glitches in Fortnite history. Some of them just being super goofy, fun to do, and awesome to show your friends. Others have been incredibly overpowered and have granted you an absolutely massive competitive advantage against all of your enemies. Today, we have a super interesting one. Actually being one of my favorites of all time, it's actually done inside of the Fortnite Festival main stage. Once you load in, it's gonna ask you to choose a song. You're not gonna want to do that and just ignore that command here's the glitch all you're gonna want to do is turn to your right and then make your way up the staircase once you've made it to the top you're gonna want to make your way back here where you'll find another staircase go ahead and make your way up that one as well and then look for this little ledge to your right you should be able to jump up and mantle up on top of it and then make your way inside of this room once you're in this room you'll see this massive piano here simply jump on top of the piano just like this and then you're able to walk through the wall and fall outside of the room. Obviously, you're not supposed to be able to do this, but this glitch gets even crazier and crazier. Because check this out. You're literally able to swim all the way over to the actual main stage. As you can see, there literally appears to be like thousands and thousands of NPCs cheering. We're also able to make our way actually up onto the main stage, which is super interesting. Exploring this full area really shows you the incredible detail Epic Games put into this. I also have no idea what the heck is going on over here with this little sculpture. Oh, in no way we can even make our way inside of this building. Come on, give me a second. I'm gonna go to the very top. Oh, we made it. You get an absolutely incredible view. Last but not least, let's check out the Ferris wheel. I'm not getting my hopes up, but it would be absolutely insane if we could jump on this and ride it. But it doesn't seem like we're able to. There's literally an invisible wall right here. Coming up next, we're going to check out the return of the hand. But first, let me show you my new favorite battle royale game. Known as 1v1.lol. It's a super fast-paced hyper battle royale. It's totally free to play on your mobile device or even your PC. Now, literally everybody can play no matter your skill level. Inside of this game, there are a bunch of different champions that you can choose from. With each one actually having a different special ability. My favorite ability is actually from Sky. It gives you a massive boost up in the air, allowing you to build and instantly get the high ground on your enemy. To unlock new champions, all you need to do is open up boxes. Out of these boxes, you can also receive some new weapons that you can equip to immediately use whenever you start a new game, alongside tons of different types of armor. Inside of 1v1 LOL, there are many exciting modes, challenges, and events, with new content added every single day. This is easily the most exciting battle royale game out right now, and you absolutely have to check it out. Literally everybody is playing it, and the best part is it's totally free. Thank you so much to 1v1 LOL for sponsoring this video. I'll see you guys in game. Coming up next is the return of the hand. But first, we all know that one of the most important items here in Fortnite, as it always will be, different forms of healing items and shields. My personal favorite actually being the Chug Splat. Because not only will it grant you both health and shield, it's also super quick and easy to use. Literally, all you need to do is throw it at the ground at your feet. What if I told you there was a way to actually get unlimited Chug Splashes? That would probably be pretty sweet and make it pretty easy easy to win a game, huh? You're in luck, ladies and gentlemen, because there actually is a glitch that'll give you unlimited chug splashes. Check this out. Once you jump out of the battle bus, you're just gonna wanna make your way towards the snowy biome by this little lake just like I am right now. Once you're over here, you're gonna wanna go to this giant building that used to be the main underground base. Oh dear, we got enemies here. Leave me alone. Another one right here, buddy. Get back. Oh, yes. Thanks for playing fighting fish boy. Anyway, you're looking for one of two specific items. The first one I have right here in front of me actually being a shockwave grenade. And the other item will work is like the new version of the port of fort All you're going to want to do is pick that up, add it to your inventory, and then make your way inside of the building. Once you're here, you'll find a brand new NPC. This character actually goes by the name Spartan Assassin, and she is actually the secret to making this glitch come to life. All you want to do is take the shockwaves or the port of fort and hold it in your hand. All you need to do after that is go up to the Spartan Assassin 
and actually hire them. The rest is pretty easy, ladies and gentlemen. Each and every single 30 seconds that passes, the Spartan Assassin will drop some more shockwave grenades for you. Not just that, every 15 seconds, she'll actually drop a bunch of chug splashes. Now, I honestly have no idea why this glitch works. And I honestly really don't care. Because at the end of the day, it gives you unlimited chug splashes. Probably making this the most overpowered glitch in all of Fortnite. So feel free to try this glitch out before Epic Games inevitably patches it. That's what I'm messing around because the hand has made its return. Very first time ever since last season. I'm sure we all remember the whole reason the hand ever came to the Fortnite island was all because of one person. The leader of the society, known as Valeria, who, for the entire duration of last season, spent her time actually researching this mysterious book, as well as this mysterious box known as Pandora's Box. Throughout her quest, she ended up setting up multiple different campsites, all located right around the ruined Reels location. Eventually, when she found out she was in the correct spot, a bunch of mini earthquakes started appearing here. It would happen once every single hour. And after about a week and a half of consecutive earthquakes, a bunch of cracks started appearing at this area outside of Ruined Reels, then began filling up with lava and emitting a bunch of smoke. Sure, we all remember what happened after this, because an absolutely massive Titan hand emerged from the ground. Attached to his hand by a massive chain, it's actually that mysterious box that Valerie had been researching. Eventually, once the entire community came together and destroyed the chains, the box fell to the ground and opened up, and unleashed all sorts of different evils on the Fortnite island. We're now experiencing here in Chapter 5 Season 2, both in the form of the Underworld, as well as the evil Olympian god Zeus that's trying to destroy all the mortals. Because of this, seemingly the only way to save all of Fortnite's reality is to reopen Pandora's box, shove all this evil energy back in there, essentially undoing what we witnessed at the end of last season. Well, here we are dropping into a game, ladies and gentlemen, and I have something awesome to show you. Check this out. Right now, we're actually heading to this little bridge located right outside of Fencing Fields. It's located here is actually a brand new NPC. It's a very, very special character that has more knowledge about both the hand and Pandora's box than anyone on the island. Well, this NPC actually goes by the name Nura. If you take a look at her character description, it says that she is curious about the gods, and even more curious about the true nature of Pandora's box. Now, I know, right off the bat, it doesn't seem like this character is all that important. But trust me, she is. All we need to do is interact with her, and then hit the Ask About button, Asked about the Endless Stars. Then goes on to say, eons ago, and very far away, the stars were blinked out one by one, until there were only a few left. Then a brilliant owl helped a clever fox chew a hole through the world, and that's hair ripped open all of space, filling the vast emptiness with an eternity of new stars. It may not be obvious, but what she's talking about here is actually the story of Pandora's box, implying that essentially the more and more we try and fight the evils it unleashed on our world, more and more evils it'll continue to release, implying that the only way to truly defeat its powers is to simply just accept our fate. Because if and when the giant titan hand does end up returning and coming back to life, likely won't have effect on anything, because the powers and evils of the box have already been unleashed on the Fortnite island. Whoa! Calm it down. Well, these dudes are lighting me up right now. Not anymore. Thanks for playing, lads. Well, we got some more enemies over here. I can't drive the car anymore, though, because they freaking shot it, bro. No worries. We're still going to try and make it work. Come here, Goku. Got him. All right. All right. Okay. Here we go. And we got this guy. Yes, let's go. I know, my aim was terrible. You don't need to tell me. Hopefully, we can keep this Lamborghini in better condition than the last car. No, gosh dang it. Bro, I can't catch a break. Oh, my goodness. They literally took all of my health, too. What the heck, dog? Slurp barrel so bad, brother. Now, let's get our revenge on these dudes. Huh. That's for destroying my Lamborghini. Good news is we got a new Lamborghini right here. Oh, this guy wants the smoke. He wants it. What? Did I miss? How did I miss? How did I miss? Got him. Another one right here, though. Another one right here. No way. Oh, my goodness. Yes. Oh, what up, buddy? What up, Foxy? Homeboy is trying to get away, man. I won't. Oh, yes. Our gunshot's over here. Yep, there he is. I see him, boys. Come to Papa, buddy. Come to Papa. Got him. Oh, we got another one right here. Yep, 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 yep. Another one. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Still not done. Whoa. Whoa! So low on health. I'm so low on health. I'm so low on health. Oh my goodness, boys. Oh my goodness. 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 Fight each other, not me. I need to heal. I need to heal. I need to heal. This is my only option right now. It's my only option. It's my only option. All right, you ready for this? You ready for this? You ready for this? Yes! Oh, and that's the last enemy, I think. I think that's him. The very final one. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, he was the last one. That is a huge victory royale. If and when the massive Titan hand makes its return to the Fortnite island, I'm going to make sure to let all of you guys know by making a tweet over my official Twitter account, at HomeAgamesYT. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Have an absolutely incredible rest of your day. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.